excuse me, CNCI, and I think there was another contractor on the on the prototype, and they had a uh, they had another team that built a similar product prototype in C++, and the small talk one just blew away the one in C++. They couldn't they could barely get a tank to move, and we actually had stuff going around. So I mean, we were fortunate though that, that they made one of the things that really persuaded the government, I think, to use small talk was the idea of, of, of having a virtual machine. As I said, as I said earlier, it was originally going to, supposed to run on like six different hardware platforms, including things like silicon graphics. So the sell of the virtual machine to the government was, look, you won't have to recompile all your .h files for each platform, just use this lovely VM, write the code once, and there you go. We were also, um, the selection of small talk also occurred really before the job wave got going. We get asked many, many times how, how you know, when are you going to convert this to Java? And we just go through this big song and dance and show them that it's going to take three years and it costs you millions of dollars and you won't get it done. And they're like, oh, what do you mean it's not free? Did that answer the question? So there were two phases. There was the prototype and they selected the language. Then, then the original contractor from CACI and a company called GRCI. Later it was, it was a bunch of others. I worked for four or five different companies. I was at the same job. <laughs> you know that goes. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. Anybody else back there? Front. Front. Yeah. Okay. Was it Larry Vaughn? Was, was the guy that you mentioned Larry Vaughn? No, it was Larry Vaughn. Yeah. All right. No, that for sure. Any other questions? <laughs> so what's the, what's the government doing now? That's a great. That's a great question. What the government, the, the government is, what the government did is they took this um, Air Force model called Storm, and they spent eight million dollars to put naval stuff in it. Well, now the Navy's all mad because the Air Force treats their ships as targets. Well, duh. What do you think it was going to do? The ships don't move. And and uh, I was talking to a guy I used to work with. He said the land side is even easier. They, they can't do such simple things as, as uh, counter battery, counter mortar fire, which Jaywars has had for like 10 years. They're just back to using these conglomeration models. They'll do the C4ISR over here, they'll do the land over here, they'll do the air and, and naval stuff over here, and then they'll have what they call a bog sack. And that's a military speak for a bunch of guys sitting around a table, and they'll all kind of trade. What do you think? I don't know. I think you lost a character. No, you didn't. You lost the V1. I'm serious. This this kind of crap goes on, and, it, and it, this is considered analysis. When you can stick them all in Jane Wars and do it, they're they're back to well, the 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 code belongs to the U.S. government. They still have it. It's just been archived. But they're back to their old ways. But they got a bunch of guys who've been doing this for 20 years. They're really happy. They know how to get the answers they want. No problem. The fact that the analysis of crap doesn't matter. I'm, I'm getting excited. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are you doing with your life now? You've lost the J-Wall. Well, do you see this shirt here? <laughs> I, 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 oh, sorry. I am uh, working for the Associations team on Video Lake Small Talk. I'm glad to be there. Yes? Sorry, just pulling on the general question. Can I get clear in my mind? You told us earlier that a civilian formerly in the Navy and her subordinate admiral were crucial to canceling it. Yeah. As a result of which, the Air Force model was chosen and the Navy ships are now simply targets. <laughs> Is that a fair summary? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's completely fried, <laughs> the um, stuff that goes on. I, I tried to keep my head down, but it was, you know, if you raise your head up on some things, there's just crap flying all over. I didn't want to hear it. If, if, you know what's really depressing is that they're spending all this money and they're getting crap analysis out of it and they're basing they're, they're basing serious decisions with this stuff. People are going to get killed because it's crappy analysis. It's nuts. But it's, it's all politics. And, and it, the only way it would ever change is if the civilian leadership told the services, use J-Wars for no more money. That's the only thing that gets their attention. So, so they did the civilian leadership like generals and the military Some of the civilian leadership 
a leadership like that. The guy who was the boss of our, our little group, he loved it. He was the one who rescued us from when we got shipped down to Norfolk and you know, killed in 2007. Because what happened is they killed the model. His organization was still using it. He was like, wait a minute. But then it took him six months to get leave to pry legal ownership away from these guys in Norfolk and get it back up here so he could even let a contract to, to support it. He loved it. He was against it. His boss was against it. It was made up of the, well, there's no, there's no fingerprints on it. A lot of people liked it, but not enough people high enough in, in, in DOD ever told the services, you're going to use this or else. And they just waited it out and finally killed it. Yeah, four minutes. Go ahead. This is a simulation which was uh, which got an. Uh, this was a simulation that got a marine general or admiral uh, out of the service at, at the start of the Iraq war. No, this this, this 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 simulation was, to my knowledge, never used in, in the Iraq war. Um, you you could go back and model past conflicts. But generally, the, the individual services are very good about doing what, what they call after-action reports, even down at the unit level, to, to, to find out do the tactics work, you know, the whole OODA loop. The, the JWARS analysis that I saw was future, future conflicts. Okay. You know there's that big red country and there's that little island off the coast there? I can't tell you what the names are, but, you know, that might be a flashpoint. <laughs> You, you, you can think of, think of things, and, and that's, we, here's the deal, the, the U.S. military takes its job very seriously. They're not a bunch of uh, bloodthirsty bastards. They, they try to see war as a business, and if they're told by the civilian leadership, go do this, they want to go do it with a minimum of loss of life and a minimum of damage. You know, get it done, get out. And that's what they try to do here. Anybody else? We've got two minutes. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.